Hi, here you are with Dan in Essex, UK, in Dan's hot and steamy and hopefully soon to be very exotic polytunnel. Now, you may remember, if you've been following my channel for a while, that I wish to create an experimental, a curious, a sort of tropical affair within this, this polytunnel here, and I've asked for some ideas in a previous video. So some great ideas came out of that video, and um, if I've not responded to your comment directly, um, the reason for this is because I've been incredibly busy, um, been finishing work late, etc., and getting back, so, uh, but I do read all your comments, so please keep making them down below, I do appreciate them. So, ideas for things like turmeric, ginger, bananas, um, some citrus fruit, and all that. So these are things I will look into long term in the future, but <clears throat> excuse me, well, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have spent some time in the tropics, and whilst there, I uh, consumed a humongous amount of fresh mangoes. I really like them there. Now, I know it's highly unlikely that uh, you're going to produce mangoes within this country, but uh, Dan being Dan, he wanted to have a go at it. So, guess what I ordered? Whoops, other way around. Dan ordered a mango tree from Victoriana Nursery. So, it was about uh, 40 pounds, I think, something around there. Good, to, it was a delivery cost as well, but it looks well packaged, nice bit of straw there. And um, it, it arrived promptly, it didn't order it a week ago, and it's here already. So there we go. So what we're going to do is open it up and see what it looks like. But before that, look at these now. <coughs> I was working somewhere yesterday and I got absolutely ravaged by horseflies. Really sore they are. And me being me, I scratched them, not really knowing what it was at the time, and uh, saw them. And uh, there you go. So a bit of a horsefly bite there. Ooh. So the variety of this tree is Palmer. I think that's a, a US variety, but I'm very intrigued to see what this beautiful tree, or hopefully beautiful tree, is going to look like. So we're going to first get the it's well packaged, isn't it? And the straw is good. In fact, I'll leave the straw in here on the floor. Polytunnel, and I'll use it for the polytunnel. Let's have a look at it. Now, I'm just so there's the pot. I'm just going to make sure that this camera is pointing where I want it. I think that's more like it. It's an intriguing pot that it's in. Can't see much foliage yet. So at the moment we've got... Well, it certainly is curious, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's just zoom in so you can have a look at the... stalk. There you go. Probably something to do with the fact that mangoes have incredible, incredibly deep roots. Right. There we go, 
Well, it certainly does look curious, doesn't it? Look at that pot. Right. Right. Let's get the old camera here so you can see better. <whistles> Love it when the birds make that sound. So here is the mango, dwarf mango palmer. Dwarf mango, mangifera indica, Man mangifera indica palmer. A dwarf mango that produces crops of gorgeously sweet purple red fruits. Can be grown outside in the summer, but is better suited to protect it growing and must be kept frost and preferably drought free. Well, that would be expected of this because these normally grow in, you know, in the tropics, don't they? Southeast Asia. I think parts of the US you can grow them there. Parts of the US like, um, I think Florida they grow these, don't they? And um, parts of Australia. And I believe there is even a part of Spain where they grow them. Is it uh, Almeria? Somewhere like that. But um, yeah, so here is the mango tree. It looks very much, you know, what I wanted it to look like. Just exotic and odd, really. Um, one could describe it as spindly at this point. But I'm not worried about that because it looks different and it is different, which is what you want. So what I'm going to do is pop this up and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm not going to overcomplicate this too much because I don't really want to. But what we're going to do is get it out first. I'll just uh, better put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing, isn't I? There we go. So let's have a look. <clears throat> Just imagine if I managed to produce some mangoes. Satisfaction. Of, I did read that they managed to get the one in, um, or somehow the one in Kew Gardens produced. If you Google that, you'll find it. If I remember, I'll link that down below. But, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, they have a very deep taproot mangoes, don't they? Hence why it's in this. Incredibly deep pot. There we go. There it is. So let's work out what we're going to do. So that's going to sit straight in there like that. And the root literally is you know, right to the bottom here. They have a massive tap root. I mean, when I was in the, uh, in the Philippines a few years ago, and um, some of the mango trees there can be absolutely gigantic, like, um, you know, almost, well, yes, like big oak trees, they can look like. So let's see what we're going to do. Now, I'm not going to overcomplicate this. I'm going to use up what I've got. So I've got a little bit of vegetable compost, so I'm going to put that in there. Just to give it a bit of body. And I am going to do some research on this. Now, if anyone out there knows about mango growing in pots, um, or if anybody out there knows about mango growing in any way, shape or form really, please, you know, let me know because I am a total virgin when it comes to growing mangoes. So, somewhere around there, I've got my, I've got my trowel. I'm probably sitting on it. I keep losing things lately. So I've got some of the brochure vegetable compost just for a bit of body and this is just normal multi-purpose compost see it would be magnificent you know if we could grow mangoes like 
in, outside in the UK and, um, or, and similar climates and I'm sure one day a variety will be developed that you can grow outside but um, it would be amazing to just see a flush of flowers on it so the plan will be to leave it in here throughout the summer and when the colder periods of autumn start to come maybe like um, I don't know October November it'll be going inside so we shall see just what what this does and this is not the only exotic I'm going to get I am planning on a banana as well Down. So here you go, getting a bit low on compost now, so found a little bit of orchid compost. I'm going to put that in there. That's the last bit of multi-purpose. And just going to put this in. And we'll see. It's got a lot of organic matter in this. So it should the mango tree should be like this. Yeah, you really can feel that. So there we go. We are loaded up with growing medium and it's a good idea when you're watering plants like this use some tepid water you don't want to be using freezing cold water because uh, obviously these are not plants from originally from freezing cold areas so I'm going to give it a good bit of water like that and hopefully the plant will survive so I've now got my mango tree that I've wanted for a, <laughs> quite a long time. So what I'm going to do is proceed to, there we go, trowel. I'm going to put it over here. So for those of you, like myself, who would like to have a closer look at it, you can see the rootstock here. And you can see the graft there. So that's like, um, like a cleft graft, you know, like I do when I graft my apple trees you know, nice leaves almost uh, avocado like really aren't they you can see with the growth there so you can see like the year's growth are very similar to a uh, an avocado actually so hopefully all being well this is going to be looking good 
So I'm just going to give a smile now, and uh, hopefully you can see the uh, tree here, because what I do is uh, I can then free, freeze a frame and use that as a thumbnail for the video. There you go. So, there we go. So yeah, with regards to plans for this polytunnel, so if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know this was absolutely loaded with different plants. But uh, what I've done is taken them out and just gently, you know, took a few of the weeds out. Obviously there's a big load of uh, straw in here at the moment, but, uh, and I'm going to proceed to plant this out. So I've got to get in here and do some watering. The grapevine. Autumn Royal is absolutely loving it in this extra heat that we're getting. And the peaches are coming along. El Fantastico, look at that, look, there you go, big bunch of them there, look. Let's see how the mango tree does. Take care, speak soon. over and out.